breaking news, y'all. Lotro might have just potentially found the solution to the arena fights for the Wraith spawns on the new legendary servers, Angmar and Mordor. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me give you some context. But before I do that, make sure you hit the subscribe button as it helps the channel so much and I greatly appreciate it. On the new legendary servers, Angmar and Mordor, one of the bigger selling points for the server was they are introducing a mechanic where these wraiths or some of the Nazgul potentially could spawn while you are playing the game. The purpose of this is to really get more people together and play more of like a group element while you're out in the open world. But at the same time, you don't have to group up with people to receive some sort of like rewards or credit. So it's just an overall good time. One thing that is really awesome, which I recommend everyone do at some point on these servers is to check out one of the big Nazgul fights where one of the nine can spawn anywhere in the world and you quite literally have to use like a whole freaking army of people. And the purpose of this is because you can get more rep, you can get some really cool rewards like cosmetic pets, but I just really wanted to specify that it is one of the bigger reasons why I've enjoyed playing on Angmar was because I like that. It's almost like having a world boss. That was one thing I personally really liked in Guild Wars 2 was that you could take on world bosses. You didn't have to be like in a raid to do it and everyone would get credit for something or some sort of reward. So pretty much that's what Lotro has been doing, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If you have seen my live streams, I have been ranting about it because it has just not had the greatest of systems. In fact, it's just been a terrible nightmare. The way it works when one of the nine spawns, you do not get a location. You're relying on other people to tell you the location of whoever spawned it, but sometimes people just aren't aware of it, which is whatever. Other people are saying that there are certain people who are quote unquote gatekeeping the location, which makes absolutely no sense because you need like everyone to help you in order to get credit for slaying it because you are not slaying it by yourself, trust me. So there has been a little bit of location issues because you only get 30 minutes to take down one of the nine. And yeah, they have about like almost 7 million health. So that's a lot to work with. And if you're not getting the location right away, you've lost so much time and you're just not gonna get it down. So that's been one critique that people have been giving the Lotro devs is they want something that can at least cue them in on the region at the very least. I, on the other hand, have been giving my personal feedback in the Lotra forums by saying to increase the time that the Nazgul is out for instead of 30 minutes make it 45 because I've seen it where literally just finding the location of it can sometimes take 15 minutes and then not only that there have also been issues where when it's out in the landscape people are porting everywhere I actually went to a Nazgul fight I got ported in the 30 minutes, mind you, I got ported four times. It was like in the middle far edge of Eregion and I got ported to the Old Forest, to Goblin Town twice, and even the Shire and Needle Hole. Yeah, not so fun trying to get back to a Regian from Needle Hole. The reason for that, I assume, is just because the server can't keep and hold all of those people. So instead of crashing, it's trying to port everyone out, which makes sense. But I feel like because of that, they could be maybe just a little bit more generous by giving us an extra 15 minutes because that's been an ongoing issue as well. And that issue has just gotten worse. But one thing that Lotro and SSG has done, which I really do commend them on because the idea is pretty good and brilliant, is they have introduced these portals or instances where people can go in and slay one of the nine in these instance almost like arena based type of style. So it's nice because you do go to wherever this wraith spawned, you go to anywhere in Middle Earth and you'll have these portals that are open and you just go on the portal and then you're pretty much like in an instance in a way with like all these people. It's a way better solution just because if you die, you can restart and you're still in the instance. So just that alone saves you so much time because you don't have to keep running back and forth to wherever this Nazgul is or whatnot. So that's just a little bit of the feedback, but I really want to stress to you how just annoying defeating the nine has been. As someone who has gone to seven out of the 10 now spawnings that have happened in the last two weeks exactly, I have not 
slain one of the nine yet. In fact, the only time that it has happened has been literally only three times, and two of those are dependent on whatever instance you have been on. So legit, it's like a 20 to 30% chance you're gonna get it down. So overall, love the idea, just the execution of it has just been not the greatest, if I'm being honest, but Lotra might have fixed that. And also one thing I had to be reminded of because I know everyone's really infuriated by it all. Trust me, I am too. <laughs> but one thing I had to be reminded of, which I have to keep telling myself is that yes, Angmar and Mordor, at the end of the day, they kind of still are test servers. And I have to give SSG just some leeway because obviously I don't have to be on the servers, but not only that, I well and clearly joined these servers knowing that I essentially was going to be a guinea pig and you know they're asking for feedback so my feedback is just fix the stuff please. Anyway they might have just done so because Vastin did just go on the Lotra forums and he posted a new update about the arena instances and some fixes that they are working towards right now. Lead system designer Vastin who is on the Lotra development team he did post some tweaks and fixes that they plan on doing for the spawning of the nine. But just to be clear this is referring to the instance and portals for the nine so when I was referring to how sometimes there are portals that show up and you can go in this instance with people and how I honestly prefer that a little bit more. He is referring to uh, those fixes for one of the nine spawning. So if you're thinking about the landscape one where you keep getting ported all over the place, I don't think they're really working on that so much, which is fair. They're really focused on the arena format. So that's what these fixes are referring to. Fasten says, so we've been watching the new arena format and while it certainly seems to be an improvement, we're going to make a few tweaks soon. The first one that's already gone in was that we reduced the maximum group size from 45 to 36. This seems to be about the threshold for keeping the performance in the battles acceptable. So we'll be sticking with that for a while. So pretty much it sounds like they're still having some frame issues because yeah, when one of the nine spawns, your frames will literally be like like maybe one to five FPS, but like that's if you're lucky half the time. So obviously they're just going to reduce the group size for performance sake, uh, which I'm not opposed to. It's just that already with the instances, if you don't have a ring bearer with you, it's really freaking difficult to slay one of the nine. So if you have less people, it's going to be way more difficult. So that's something that I'm sure that they're going to address in here, but it just makes me a little bit skeptical just for that reason. The max morale of the Nazgul will be reduced to help compensate for smaller group size. Please. Oh my gosh. Like nearly 7 million HP has been crazy. Honestly, with people who don't have the best DPS, aka people like myself yes hi my name is aubrey and i have terrible dps on my characters most of the time i'm finding out um i'm not really much help with the nazgul and if there was like 12 others of me who are like me in the dps category yeah we ain't getting that we ain't getting that thing down we ain't getting that uh no so i'm glad that they're going to reduce it bastion then goes on to say this should give groups that arrive without a ring bearer a decent shot at beating them we've seen groups get pretty close as it is but it's often down to luck whether a given assemblage of players will have enough dps available to pull it off and we'd like those odds to be better speaking of that you know so just to give some information on what the ring bearers are there are apparently these rings that'll drop with within Middle Earth randomly that some characters get while they're questing. And these rings apparently only have a shelf life of like 48 hours or so, but they're more or less like a weakness for the Nazgul. But if you do not have a ring bear present, it's just, it feels so impossible because it's like, you're maybe gonna get like two mil HP off on that dude, but like, in 30 minutes that's a lot of time like you know especially when you're supposed to you know slay the dang thing and get 7 million hp so that's good for people who are in groups that do not have ring bearers when vastin talks about seeing groups get pretty close okay and it comes down to luck let me show you a clip of my last nazgul fight all right i'm only at 771 it'll be down before we know it. Please, SSG's got to make it to his spot. Dude, I'm waiting here, sitting. Like, I am genuinely waiting for us to get to the final, like, 
20k and then it'd be like, oh psych, I'ma leave. Wait, actually? Did it despawn? It's green, we can't fight it. Just re-watching that clip infuriates me because I thought after like six times, I was finally gonna get it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what happened or why we didn't get it, but the other group I heard that was in the instance portal, there was three layers from people I've heard from. Only one of them got it and the other one was at 56 K. 56,000 HP. Which, if this were on the landscape, I feel like that would have triggered the Nazgul to leave the fight. But for whatever reason, he didn't leave. Fasten says, players have made it clear that they would like the duration of the portal itself to be increased to about 30 minutes, so it shall be. I'm playing with some of the arena settings to shuffle players out after victory slash defeat and close down an empty layer quickly so that players can enter other layers that may still be fighting shorthanded to reinforce them. That would be nice, um, but I don't know how they're gonna make that happen. In a way, I feel like it might just start cluttering up the layers. I don't know if that's the best bet because I like that we would have reinforcements, but I also want everyone to have a fair shot in getting the Nazgul, so I don't know how they're gonna work on that and i'm not sure how i feel about it like you know if it works it works but i don't know if it's needed there's an occasional bug where nazgul may freeze in green bar and be unable to complete the fight this is deeply upsetting and we're trying to figure out why this happens but it's still a possibility at the moment Yes, SSG, I have evidence of that. It seems to be related to server strain, so reducing the arena group size may have significantly reduced the odds of this happening, but we're still looking. Sorry about that one. Big sad face. Well, hopefully that fixes it. We'll have to see. Let me know down in the comments if that has happened since. Vastin also made an edit. We're also looking at ways we could potentially announce the location of encounters when they occur, so there are fewer concerns about gatekeeping. That's what I was referring to earlier, how it would take like 15 minutes at most sometimes to find the location of the spawning of the Nazgul and people were saying that there were specifically like kinships more in particularly that were like gatekeeping the information. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I haven't seen like anybody maliciously or purposefully do that, but I do know that the odds are more likely that if you're a new player who doesn't understand what's going on and you spawn one of the nine and you just got slain because yeah you ain't you ain't lasting like two seconds against that bad boy by yourself you're probably just mad at the game and logging off or something you know vastin also posted some tips and tricks so let's go over that the game will usually try to put you and the lowest layer available so if you find yourself getting bounced out an empty arena that has already completed its fight your best bet is to wait a minute for the layer to shut down before trying to re enter. I'll see about making the period shorter in the next patch or if we can force it to shut down. One issue I had with my instance portal fight with one of the nine was when we got the green bar glitch and we more or less we couldn't complete the fight. It took so long for the instance to shut down. I feel like it took anywhere from like five, seven, maybe eight minutes. I'd have to go back in my VOD and check it, but legit, it it felt like forever, um, which felt like such a big waste of time. So I'm hoping that they have a way that they can at least quickly shut down the instance once the fighting's over or like here, um, making the period shorter um because that would be really helpful the timer to defeat a wraith is from the time the wraith spawned not from when the event announcement began so if you start a new fight at the 20 minute mark you'll still have a full 30 minutes to finish the battle that is a really helpful tip to note because i was curious about this myself the way that the wraith spawning works is that once that sucker pops you got 30 minutes on the dot which the way it's being announced right now is on the server in game it'll have a server broadcast announcement so you can see when one of the nine has spawned but it won't tell you like where it's at or anything like that so you have to go find it that was something I was really curious about on the instance portals though is that if you only have 30 minutes 
say it spawns at like 10 30 you have 30 minutes so you have until 11 p.m but what if you make a new instance like does it start with the instance or does it start at like the 10 30 time because if that's the case you made an instance for like 10 minutes you ain't getting it down so i'm glad that they definitely made that clear in the arenas you must be present when the wraith is defeated to receive the reward players who have recently defeated a wraith may enter another battle if the portal is still present they will not be eligible for another reward until the faded mark disappears which is at a three hour duration now let's see what other people are saying malice has great changes i don't get to be on enough for this weird rotation of time you have going on and i was hoping to make it in time for last night's wraith on angmar only to find out it was a portal wraith and the portal closed early once i logged in it was 15 minutes after the spawn announcement on discord so i was majorly disappointed not too certain how i should feel about the rest of the changes since i couldn't participate but the 30 minute portal duration is good enough for me i'm really happy that they're doing that because i have heard a lot of people be like i didn't get in at time and sometimes with the way it works when one of the nine spawns and as this person referred to um there are discords that are available that have alerts that will alert everyone on discord that a wraith has just spawned that's actually what i follow which i'll let you guys know in my discord i have that alert activated so if you want to join the discord links down below yeah that's something that i'm glad that they're increasing the portal time and that actually is something that a lot of people wanted so i'm glad someone um here like mala is really excited about that change so yeah there's not too much that's been written about right now but i am so glad that they're actively working towards fixing the arena and the whole portal system i really hope that at this point ssg just gets rid of the landscape nazgul because those you have so little of a chance of getting down anymore especially with all the porting that's been happening more so lately it's it's truly upsetting so um i'm really glad that they're really trying to focus in on the arena format i feel like that will definitely stick i'm glad they have it the way they do um, and I'm hoping that with these changes going forward, whenever they put all of them in place, that it just makes everything smoother. I don't know. What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know down in the comments for sure. And let me know if you're even playing on Angmar and uh, Mordor. You know, we got a kin over on Angmar right now, you know? Only weirdos. We're, we're chilling over there. So if you want to join in some raid nights, let me know. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, you better stay weird, you weird weirdos.